Hey guys, <clears throat> new day, new um thing and rope video. I guess that's what it is. Uh we left off with Monokuma gonna explain to us I believe I called it the accomplice clause. That uh yeah, so let's uh get to it. I think I'm gonna do the voices again today because it felt weird do it, not doing them last time, but I really didn't want Justin making fun of me. Uh, even though we've been together for almost 12 years, I still care what he thinks. So I'm gonna do the voices again. Sorry there were three episodes of me not doing them, but you know, is what it is. So uh, let's get to it. An accomplice? <sighs> what are you doing here? Monokuma appears! Don't be rude. I'm here to answer your question. What question? Yep. You're talking about a, you're talking about accomplices, right? I'm pretty sure I explained it before, didn't I? During the first class trial. Speaking of which, I'd like to ask the bear. If there is an accomplice, do they also become blackened? So you ask, and so I shall answer. Each murder is allowed to have an accomplice, but only the one who does the killing will get to graduate. So in other words, two people can work together, but one of them has no chance of profiting from it. Then there's no way anyone would work together, Don't right? Come on, Toe. In other words... So basically, you can be an accomplice if you want, but there's no gratification of it in it. So then. So you're saying nobody worked together this time either? Hey, um... Sorry, can't answer that. <clears throat> it would obstruct the free exchange of information between you guys. Oh, shoot. I just want to make sure you don't forget, no matter how much you might assist in a murder. Phew. Only the blackened can graduate. An accomplice gets nothing. So in other words... Then... Then we only need to figure out who that one blackened is that did the killing, right? Just like normal. On his knees. Well. <coughs> oh my goodness, excuse me. Whew. Okay, okay, let me take this opportunity to clarify the whole shebang. In this class trial, what you need to determine is. The one true blackened who devised the murder plot and put it into action. The true blackened, so just one person. Well, now. That's enough for explaining. Explainify. Oh, explainify. Explainifying. Now it's down to the final battle between all of you and the blackened. Good luck to all the contestants. So there can only be one blackened. An accomplice wouldn't benefit. Then I can't see any way Kyoko would be connected to this case after all. Hmm. You may be right. Um. If that's true, then Kyoko, where are you? However. As long as she's not connected to this case, it doesn't matter. Let's get back to the investigation. Indeed. I have absolutely no doubt that Hiro is responsible. But for the time being, I suppose it can't hurt to pursue further information. So, um... You know... You know, don't you think we should consider a certain someone a suspect, just in case? I'm talking about the murderous fiend, Genocide Jack! What? what? I'm offended! Oh. Yeah. You. When did you... <laughs> I've been looking all over for you, Master. When I woke up, you were nowhere to be found. Anyway, you there, milk sack swimmer girl. Huh? Milk sack. You gotta be kidding. Why do I gotta be a suspect? What the heck? Well, I mean, you are a serial killer. <laughs> so what? I'm like a special guest suspect every time. I have an alibi, you know. Hmm. She's right about that. When we heard Hafumi scream, she was with me. And when the bodies disappeared, she was still lying unconscious in the equipment room. Ugh. Plus, Taka's body aside, 
I can't imagine any way she would be- she would have been able to move Fumi's body. Yep. Besides, I can calculate- I calculate every move I make. I'm not gonna kill someone when everyone knows what I look like. <laughs> they don't call me the murderous fiend for nothing. What are you saying? That's not the kind of thing you should be bragging about. Let's see. On another topic, should we post a guard by the bodies like before? We can't have them disappearing again. So then. Hina and I can handle that. You don't mind, do you, Hina? Hmm. Sure, I'd be totally useless in the investigation anyway. It's all clear now. Then that's that. Let's begin. This whole thing is so strange. All but one of us has an alibi, so figuring out who did it should be obvious, right? But... Maybe it's just me, but I don't think it's going to be as straightforward as it seems. Monokuma 3 has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Alright. Boom, it is. Oh, that is a hard line. Hoo 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 That is a hard line. Fumi's big, cold body is laying on the floor. His really big body. I mean, how on earth was the killer able to move someone so big? From the nurse's office, where he was discovered, to here, the repository. All the way from the first floor to the third, and all without anyone noticing it. How the hell the hell? It's no good. I just don't get it. I can think about it later. For now, I have to finish investigating Fumi himself. If I remember correctly, Fumi's fatal injury was also a blow to the head. Probably from Justice Hammer 3, which was laying on the floor in the nurse's office. Huh. Wait. Something's off about his body. Yeah, that hard line from him to the floor. Why am I getting this feeling something's different? Something about Fumi's body in the nurse's office versus his body right now. That's it, his glasses. When his, gl when his body was in the nurse's office, his glasses were covered with blood. <coughs> but now they're completely clean. Does that mean someone wiped off his wiped his glasses off? But who would do that and why? Hafumi's glasses is your bullet section of your handbook. Oh, Taka. Taka, he'll never move again. According to the Monokuma file, Taka died from a blow to the head. We found Justice Hammer 4 near his body in the equipment room. Is that what was used to kill him? And there's a tarp laid out under his body. Did the killer use this to move Taka's body? That way, there would be no body left behind while the, no blood left behind while the body was moved. Blue tarp. There are hammers of all different sizes hanging on the wall. Um, although some of them are more like mallets. Mallets? Could the justice hammers have been designed using these as a model? Either way, all the hammers here have obviously seen a lot of use. They're all covered in debris, debris and chalky stone powder. Wait. For some reason, this one hammer isn't dirty at all, and it's wet. Did someone wash it recently? Spotless hammer. Uh, so girl. Hmm. There are many sus there are many suspects to the incident this time. Too many, to be honest. Considering that, it may be good to look back on everything that's happened. So then. Would you like my help? Uh, I think I'm okay. So, um... Hey, um, Makoto. I've been thinking about something. It's about the repository. Huh? What is it? Hmm. After Fumi and Taki Taka's bodies disappeared, we split up to look around, right? I was really scared, so me and Sakura are stuck together. But... And we came right to the repository to, you know, look around. But when we got here, the repository was locked. We couldn't get inside. 
it was locked. Yes, I know it was locked because I checked the door and that did not um, matter. And we came here as soon as the search started, so there's no way someone could have beat us here. So if that's true, then who locked it? And why is it unlocked now? I wonder the same thing. The door was locked when the search for the bodies began, but now it's wide open. There might be some secret lurking in here, but I'll probably have to leave this area to figure it out. I see you, Biakia. Biakia. Do you think Hiro really did it? Hmm. I don't see how anyone could think otherwise. When the attacks and murders and disappearances all happened, only one of us had an Every one of us had an alibi. <clears throat> the last thing Fumi said when he died. Yeah, he said Hero's name. So in other words... But there is no room to suspect anyone else. Okay, but if he did do it, why would he hide his identity with that weird costume? Hmm. Maybe he thought that no one... Maybe he thought that no one... No matter what happened... Jeez Louise... He'd be safe as long as he covered his as long as his face was covered. Because he's a he's the fool of the century, you see? I mean, he is kinda dumb. But do you really think that's enough to explain it? I feel like there's a clue hiding in there somewhere. What? And is that it? And is it that and is that it? That's all that bothers you about the case? Well no, there are a few other things. Like, why did the killer try to hide the bodies? Hmm. They probably figured... Uh, they probably figured if we couldn't find the bodies, we couldn't complete our investigation. But if that's the case, we found the bodies pretty easily, didn't we? Hmm. Again, <clears throat> it comes back to the fact that the culprit was a moron. Is that really all there is to it? The other thing that bothers me is... Why'd they bother killing two people? What? What? Because all the rule all the rule says is if you can kill someone and get away with it, you graduate, right? So if you're the killer, your number one priority is not getting caught. But killing two people me means more clues, more chances you'll get found out. I see. Hold on. Perhaps I see. So that's what that means. I is everything okay? That's enough. Don't talk to me as if we're friends. Huh? What's with the attitude? <laughs> but you have my appreciation. Goodbye. Thanks to you, I might have some fun with this after all. His mysterious words hung in the air as he left the repository. He talked as if he'd figured something out. But if he did, would it have killed him to, have to, to tell me what it was? Oh, shoot. Through the door that Hina said it was locked. Definitely a lock on the door, but it can only be locked from inside the repository. I don't see any way to lock it from the art room. Hmm. The door can only be locked from the inside from inside the repository, which makes me wonder. Hina and Sakura confirmed that the door was locked after we started looking for the missing bodies. And the door is designed so that it can only be locked from inside the repository. In other words, when Hina checked it, someone had already gone in the repository and locked the door. When they were done, they unlocked it and left, which is why it's unlocked now. But Hina claims that there's no way someone could have beaten them to the repository, so that certain someone... Repository door... <sighs> Can I leave now? I should probably look around a little more. Dang it! Uh, oh, I don't want his body. Glasses. Can't see a thing without my glasses. There we go. It's a dolly. Doesn't have a handle. I saw this in the art room before. I guess it's used to have statues around. It's kind of awkward, but if you bend down, it's not too hard to use. Huh? But wait. Wasn't this in the equipment room when we found Taka's body? And look at the wheel. 
There's a blood stain on it. So there's blood on the wheel of the dolly that was moved from the equipment room to the repository. What's the explanation for that? Oh my god. Hmm, there's gotta be a clue around here somewhere. Maybe I should check somewhere else. There are some places I already know about. First, the nurse's office where Hifumi was found. Then the equipment room where Taka was found. Can I leave now? Thank you! Alright. Let's head to the equipment room since it's close by. I think I'm going the wrong way. I'm totally going the wrong way. Oh yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna... Let's go to the science room. Wait, the school is insane. Like, it's huge. Bonkers. Anybody? Anybody in here? No? Cool. <clears throat> Alright. That was kind of crazy. Hey! I was sleeping right here when the killer carried the body away. I'm super pissed I missed out, missed such an ultimately rare event. Is it? Ugh. Huh? This tart. I feel like I've seen it somewhere before, and just recently too. Thank you. That's well. There's some kind of tire mark going through the pool of blood in the middle of the room. That reminds me about the dolly in the repository. There was a there was blood on its tire. Could that blood have come from here? Which could mean that Taka's body was moved from the equipment room to the repository using the dolly. Both rooms are on the third floor, so that's definitely been a possibility. But even if the dolly was used to move Taka's body, what about Hufumi? Hufumi's body was in the nurse's office on the, fir on the first floor. Even with a dolly, there's no way to get it up to the third floor. That's still a total mystery. Oh, dang it! How I wanted. Uh. Hey guys. All right, let's go to the uh, nurse's office then. This is so kind of barfy. There we go. Also, I'm not entirely sure why the hallways change color. That's not right. What am I doing? I can totally just go to the map. Third floor. First floor. That's the gym. I don't want the gym. I want... Oh, the second floor. First floor. Third floor. Second floor. First floor. There we go. That's where I need to be. So there. See, and this is a yellow one. Like, I don't get it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, hey. What are you investigating, Celeste? <laughs> I am not investigating anything, precisely speaking. I'm simply going around seeing if Hiro might be hiding somewhere. Mm. What about you? Oh, you know, I'm just checking this and that. The main thing on my mind is how someone could have moved Fumi's body. Let's see. How Fumi was moved, eh? When it disappeared, you were supposed to be in the nurse's office, right? Yes, indeed. Correct. Hina was not feeling well, so I stayed behind to look after her. But she seemed to be getting worse, so I took her to the bathroom. And when you were back, the body was gone. Hmm. 
We could not have gone. We have, could not have been gone for more than a minute or two, though. Yeah, Hina said the same thing. So then the killer was able to get in and move Fufumi, Fufumi's body in short, in that short amount of time. Indeed. It would seem so. To carry off someone as big as Fufumi in only a couple of minutes is. I can't think of any and at at I can't think of it as anything less than impossible. <sighs> oh, and the blood. Is that it? The refrigerator. I wonder what's. I wonder if there's anything to drink inside. After everything I've been through, I'm totally parched. Maybe just take. Maybe just a quick peek. There's a bunch of blood packets in here. For blood transfusions, I guess. Doesn't help me, though. I'm not a vampire. Ugh. I feel like there's more for me to look at. The trash can? It's just a normal trash can. Huh? Wait, there's something inside. It's too small to be a handkerchief. It's a glasses cleaning cloth. It's got some kind of cartoon character on it. Ugh. But it's also covered in blood. Oh. Oh, did you find something? Yeah, there's a cleaning cloth in the trash can. Huh? A cleaning cloth? And it's all bloody. Whoever this belonged to must have what used it to wipe up, wipe up some blood. But who would need to do something like that? <sighs> I haven't the slightest idea. Yeah, me either. But I think it might be important. Are you serious? Are you serious? Oh my goodness. <laughs> so this is where you this is where you were. I've been looking for you. Have. <laughs> I wanted to thank you for what you did. Not that you meant to, but you ended up making this little game of ours very interesting indeed. Um <laughs> you should go to Hero's room. Oh, and let me give you this. Meet me in the dining hall. This is the note Hero This is the note Hero wrote to get us all to meet up, right? <laughs> you remember well. Well, the penmanship was pretty remarkable, so it left an impression. It's all clear now. Anyway, it, this makes it clear, right? This is a trap. What is? <laughs> <laughs> Things grow ever more exciting. Um, what are you talking about? I've already repaid my debt. I don't owe you any more explanation. Goodbye. Goodbye. Um, so he said to go to Hero's room, but... What's waiting for me there? Well, guys, we're gonna find out what is waiting for us in Hero's room in the next episode. Make sure to like the video, leave a comment down below, and as always, subscribe to the channel. We put out new videos every single day at 4.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'm really getting into playing Danganronpa again, because I want to finish this game, play the second game, and finally play the third game that I am so, 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 so excited about playing. But I can't play it until I finish these two, so... That's it. Thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you again in the next one. In the next one. Bye.